I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about DHEA, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and possible side effects. DHEA is the most abundant natural steroid hormone in your body. It's sometimes called the youth hormone and is the source of your sex hormones. DHEA is naturally synthesized in your testes, adrenal glands, and your brain. It's a precursor to DHT and testosterone in men and estrogen in women and can activate both androgen and estrogen receptors. Now besides making DHEA, your adrenal glands also produce cortisol which is in direct competition with DHEA for production. When cortisol is high, especially for prolonged periods of time, your adrenal glands wear out and DHEA production will decline. DHEA can be made in the lab from wild yam and soy, but your body cannot produce DHEA from eating these foods. To boost DHEA, you need to take it as a supplement. Now, DHEA declines with age. Your body's natural production of DHEA varies with age. Low levels are produced before puberty with peak production in your 20s. Between the ages of 25 to 30, up to 75, your DHEA levels will drop by 80%, affecting everything from alertness, memory, recall, and mood to sex drive. Its decline is even implicated in some neurodegenerative diseases. The age-related variation in DHEA production has led scientists to believe that DHEA could be linked to the aging process itself. Now many athletes use DHEA to increase muscle mass, strength, and energy, but DHEA use is banned in the U.S. by the National Collegiate Athletic Association. It's also considered a banned substance by the NBA, NFL, and United States Olympic Committee. In Canada, DHEA is considered a drug and is only available by prescription, which says something about the power of DHEA. It's technically a steroid, which may be why it's included in with performance-enhancing drugs. In 2000, 2007, the U.S. Congress tried to reclassify DHEA as an anabolic steroid, which means this natural human hormone would have only been available as a prescription drug. Fortunately, this legislation never passed, and you can still buy DHEA as an over-the-counter supplement in the U.S. Now here we're talking about how DHEA affects your brain health and chemistry. So how does DHA work in your brain? Well, a couple of ways in particular stand out. First of all, DHEA boosts working memory. Research has shown that higher DHEA levels are direct re directly related to concentration and working memory and executive function. A study done in Australia in 2003 and 2004 worked with 285 women aged 21 to 77 years. The researchers set out to investigate whether circulating levels of DHEA-S contributed to cognitive function. The women in the study went through a comprehensive battery of tests for cognitive function and DHEA-S DHEA levels. The researchers concluded that higher endogenous dhea S levels are independently and favorably associated with executive function, concentration, and working memory. Now don't note that DHEAS is simply DHEA that is produced with the addition of a sulfate group. Naturally produced in your body, it produces the hormone estrone. DHEAS can be converted in the body to DHEA and both are simply referred to as DHEA. Now the second way, DHEA, DHEA enhances mood naturally. 
DHEA has been found to improve both mood and energy with, while alleviating depression. DHEA may be a good natural alternative to, natu to traditional antidepressants. A double-blind, randomized, placebo-controlled study was done at the U.S. National Institutes of Health with 46 men and women. The study subjects had been diagnosed with major or minor depression. The depressed patients went through six weeks of DHEA therapy, 90 milligrams per day for three weeks, and 45 milligrams per day for three weeks, and six weeks of a placebo. They were then tested using two different depression rating scales and for sexual function. The study found that DHEA offered a significant, significant improvement in depression symptoms and major improvements in sexual function. In a very rare admission from the conservative National Institutes of Health, we find DHEA to be an effective treatment for midlife onset major and minor depression. So the latest scientific research validates what we know of DHEA's anti-aging effects. And it's not just for athletes. DHEA's neuroprotective benefits are vital to memory and improving mood. DHEA supports cardiovascular health and activates genes that prevent cardiovascular heart problems, diabetes, and obesity. It boosts quality of life and sexual function, and it even improves the appearance of younger looking skin. DHEA supplementation can enhance cognitive function and memory and improve decision-making or executive function. It's even been shown to decrease brain cell death and promote general cerebral health. So how does DHEA feel when you take it as a supplement? Well, you should experience a noticeable increase in motivation and drive soon after supplementing with it, especially if your levels are low. If you're under chronic stress, have chronic fatigue, you feel weak, depressed, or have low sex drive, find a naturopathic practitioner and have your DHEA levels checked. Too many neurohackers suffer unnecessarily from high stress and low DHEA production. Don't be one of those people. As for the research, DHEA is a steroid hormone and has strong influence on both brain structure and function. Social and physical stress has severe negative effects in your hippocampus, affecting memory and orientation. DHEA seems to have neuroprotective ro a neuroprotective role in reducing the toxic effects of glutamate and cortisol elevated by stress. Studies show low DHEA levels in people suffering from major depression, and that if cortisol and DHEA are out of balance, it will delay recovery from these diseases. DHEA plays a role in the treatment of depression, whether it's caused by stress or aging. It affects the cellular structure of the brain and its function. So for links to more of these studies, go to the article on Nootropics Expert. Just search for DHEA, and you'll see little descriptions of the clinical studies and links through to the full studies. You'll see how DHEA levels predict how long you'll live and how DHEA improves memory. Another clinical study with uh, golfers, DHEA levels associated with mood in pro golfers. It's all on Nootropics Expert. Now the recommended dose of DHEA is 25 to 50 milligrams a day. DHEA is a strong steroid hormone and low supplemental doses affect gene expression and inhibiting metabolic syndrome. DHEA supplementation boosts, boosts bone strength and enhances cognition and memory. DHEA supplementation is not recommended for anyone under 18. And like many nootropics, too much DHEA is not a good thing. It can lead to problems. Many nootropics users and doctors recommend taking a hormone holiday. In other words, use DHEA for a month and then take a month off. Supplementing with DHEA beyond the normal range may be advisable for short periods of time, such as restoring a badly depleted adrenal system. But 
maintaining large, do large doses of DHEA can lead to unpleasant side effects. And note, this is important, if you've been diagnosed with a hormone-dependent cancer, you should not supplement with DHEA until your cancer has been cured. As for side effects, testing for DHEA levels is very important if you're planning on supplementing with this powerful compound. Because if your hormone levels are normal and you start taking DHEA, you could experience side effects like acne, hair loss, tumor formation, heart arrhythmia, and insomnia. At higher than 100 milligram doses, DHEA has been linked to side effects. Many experts caution against high doses of DHEA or long-term long usage. Now, the most common form of DHEA is in capsules. Supplement manufacturers offer capsules ranging from 10 to 100 milligrams. You can even get DHEA as an ointment, lozenge, or cream. Now, keep in mind that 25 milligrams of a DHEA capsule will not deliver 25 milligrams of DHEA to your system. It first must pass through your liver where it's further broken down. Your body is not used to getting hormones through your digestive system. Once swallowed, only about 10 to 15 percent will eventually reach the tissues you are targeting, like your brain. This is why many naturopathic practitioners suggest using a DHEA cream instead. But here again you have a problem. While more DHEA is bioavailable by using DHEA cream on your skin, some argue there's even an even better way to take it. And that's by applying the cream to the membranes of your vagina, if you're a woman, and to your rectum, if you're a man. One other option is to take DHEA sublingually. It makes logical sense that if taken under your tongue, DHEA bypasses your liver and goes directly into your bloodstream. Now personally, I use 25 milligrams of DHEA in the uh, capsule form in the morning and another 25 milligrams at noon and have experienced a considerable boost in energy during the day. But cycling one month on and one month off to give my body a hormone holiday. My nootropics expert recommendation for DHEA is 25 to 50 milligrams a day. So that's my report on DHEA. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for DHEA. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or want to share your experience using DHEA, go to my article on Nootropics Expert and leave it in the comments section at the bottom of the article. If you want to see more videos on all the popular nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.